Hi, my name is Michelle Call. I have spent uh, a lot of my life with a real passion for genealogy and my ancestry and the ancestry of millions of Americans. There are about 70 million people in America who do descend from uh, one or more of these about 300 colonists, American colonists who came to America in the early 1600s who in fact have royal ancestry and we would have thousands of their known ancestry in these publications. So uh, we're talking the May Mayflower era, the uh, great Puritan exodus uh, from England to early Massachusetts, Connecticut. Uh, there are a significant uh, number of those that come from this, but also from the ones that came to the southern colonists later uh, uh, in the 1640s, 1650s, 1660s, there are many, many of those to early Virginia, Maryland, the Carolinas, uh, and so on. Uh, so if you descend from these uh, areas, early America, and you know you do, and you've got a lot of ancestry that goes into that, then you just got to go to the indexes. And uh, if you go to this first uh, volume, of the Royal Ancestry Bible and just open it up near the beginning uh, you're going to have an index of or a list of colonists who descend from the uh, Royal Ancestors and this list is posted on uh, my website www.royalancestors.com and this list will be there. The very first of a three volume set called the Royal Ancestry Bible Our Royal Ancestors of 300 Colonial American Families uh, it has itself more than a 200 page index and tie-ins for about 20 presidents of the United States, other prominent people uh, as well as 300 and more colonists. Let me just give you an idea how this would work. If we turn here to some connections for prominent people and others, there is Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, and it shows just in this little section how he descends from uh, the Randolphs, also from uh, the Ishams, Branches, and others. But I can just in three generations get him descended from Isham Randolph, born January 1685, and his wife Jane Rogers. And this continues, as it says, on chart 1273 in the Royal Ancestry Bible. To access chart 1273 I now have to turn to volume 2 which contains that series of charts. If I turn to the second volume on chart 1273 is Isham Randolph starting out born January 1685 and then on pedigree charts, we construct the ancestry. There are 3,400 3, pedigree charts in this collection. Up through the Randolph side, we have a connection if we go to the wife of William Randolph, Dorothy Lane. I then go to chart 431, person number one. I could have also followed down through the Isham's another connection. Let's go to chart 431 and follow this and see how we can take Thomas Jefferson through his grandmother or his grandfather Isham Randolph back through a great grandmother of the Isham, Dorothy Lane, and we'll connect her to our nearest king. Let's go to chart 431. Dorothy Lane, wife of William Randolph. 
I'm going to go back to the first volume now to access the chart 431 and we get to chart 431 in our first volume here is the Dorothy Lane who married William Randolph and if we follow back her ancestry on the pedigree charts it turns out that she has two different great-grandparents who descend from kings George Vincent and Francis Tanfield. Let's follow the great-grandfather Francis Tanfield who's continued on chart 432. So I'm going to go over just one chart here and I have Francis Tanfield chart 432 and if we follow his ancestry it turns out that he has three great-grandparents who all descend from kings. Let's go ahead and follow one of these, Edward Neville, a great-grandfather of the Francis Tanfield, who was born about 1412 now, we're getting back to that period, continued on chart 443 in the Royal Ancestry Bible. I can easily get to chart 443 by paging forward. Here is chart 443, the Edward Neville. And if we follow his ancestry, we will notice that when we get to his great-grandparents, there are one, two, three, four, five, six of this Edward Neville's great-grandparents who descend from kings are who are kings and one of his great-grandparents is King Edward III of England. Now Edward III King of England on the sheet that we showed starting when we started with Thomas Jefferson Edward III comes in right about halfway on up to the Emperor Charlemagne. But Thomas Jefferson would have thousands and thousands of ancestors charted in all of these pedigree charts showing all of the descent from kings including the ancestry of Charlemagne, the ancestry of all the kings and so on. The same is true for you. If you descend from any of these 300 colonists you can trace your ancestry in the same way once you get into the Royal Ancestry Bible and the pedigree charts uh, you can not only trace thousands of your own ancestors, but you can see how you're related to all of these other people who descend from these colonists, American presidents, prominent people, and so on. I do invite you to go to the website, uh, again, www.royalancestors.com.